Hey everyone, this is Trevor with Pin Performance. Today we're going to have a technical overview of the Omega Rail Brace system. So Pin released the Omega Rail Brace system last year at the end of the season. We dropped the 146 length initially uh, for a couple of reasons and one was that the 146 fit the 146 154 and 165 length rail braces. As you can see here, this is a 165. So if you want to drop the size down, uh, you're welcome to do that. Um, a lot of guys can get away with that. A lot of guys are going to want the full length. Uh, and you can make your decision after you watch this video to kind of understand how the Omega works and whether or not you want to keep the full length or drop the size down. So uh, we've got three key features that we're going to be going over. Uh, we're going to keep this as brief as possible and not get too down into the weeds. But the first one is that the Omega Rail Brake system is continuous. The second is that it's quasi homogeneous. The third is that um, it increases the torsional rigidity. <clears throat> so, what do we mean by continuous? Um, what's out on the market, these more conventional style rail braces, um, they have to contend with this mounting block that the scissor arm mounts to on the stock rail. And that's an issue because there's a giant square hole and you have to mill the backside in order for it to sit flat against the alpha rail. Um, to illustrate that, we've got this uh, little 3D printed deal here. So you can see you've got the um, mounting block. Then on the back side, it's got to be milled, and that's that red part here, as you can see. Um, and that completely interrupts the rail braces continuity because you just don't have any material there. This is a piece of 3 16 by 3. Um, you could go up to a quarter inch, I mean, however you want to you know, look at it, that's fine. But it all comes down to how much you got to mill off of that back side and those square corners creating stress concentration. Um, I've seen a couple of ways to do it. You can mill that back side or um, you can you can even like build it up with another piece of sheet metal behind it. But when you do that, that's even less continuous because you're using two pieces like this and they they just don't work together in the same fashion. Um, so it's not a single continuous member because it can't transfer the load from the rear to the front because your weakest point is right there at that mounting block. And you're only as strong as that thinnest point in your rail brace. The alpha or the omega rail brace doesn't have that. Um, we get rid of the block and we have the, let me flip it around the other side for you. Um, we get rid of the block and we have the two holes for the two rivets uh, to go back in the same place and then a hole drill for the through bolt. So there's no um, significant amount of material missing. So it's as strong here as it is here as it is here as it is here. So any impact at any point is transferred and distributed evenly. There's not any weak link or a significantly weak spot in the Omega Rail Brace system. It's a true continuous member. The second key feature that we're going to be discussing is that the Omega Rail Brace system is quasi-homogeneous. <clears throat> All that means is that it's pretty much one singular piece. So quasi means sort of, homogeneous means the same. And what we mean by that is everything acts together. The, uh, the rail and the rail braces all act as one single member rather than separately on their own. Um, and that's thanks to the through bolt system where we get rid of that block like we said earlier. Um, so with that, with that through bolt, going through, um, that scissor arm, any, any load that it takes um, up or down, you know, depending on uh, the condition of the, the suspension in your riding, it goes directly into the rail braces 
um, rather than going directly into the mounting block like the conventional style. Um, in this style, you have to, the load goes into the mounting block, to the rail, and then to the rivets, and then to the actual brace itself. So the brace is actually the last thing to get stressed in those situations. But with the through bolt system, since we removed that block and the scissor arm mounts right here, it all acts as one. It's like a header over top of a door or a window when you're building a house. Um, you've got them lined up vertically, you've nailed the piss out of them, and they're all working together as one rather than uh, separately um, in the case of the conventional rail. The third uh, key feature is that the Omega Rail Brace system more than doubles the torsional rigidity of the alpha rail. Uh, we've done FEA, that means finite element analysis. We've done analysis on uh, the alpha rail and we've done analysis on the alpha rail plus a conventional style rail brace and analysis on the alpha rail plus the omega rail brace obviously. And the omega rail brace system more than doubles the torsional rigidity of the alpha rail. And that's super key because the alpha rail is actually pretty strong when it gets hit directly vertically. It's a really tall triangle. Um, it's taller than it is wide. And it's, it's got quite a bit of strength in that direction. The problem is that aluminum deflects, twists, bends. Um, that's why we use it in small bills. That's why we can um, hit the things that we hit. But the problem is, the alpha rail will twist and then get hit, and that's when it folds like a noodle because it doesn't have any strength in any other direction, really. It's strong vertically, but it can deflect side to side, and that also means that it can twist. And if there's any off angle impact, it also doesn't have that much strength just because of its geometry. Um, a lot of guys have noticed that their track clips will tear up the inside of their high facts, and Part of that is due to the alpha rail deflecting. And when that deflects and gets hit, that's when it folds like a noodle. Uh, you can take a straight hit and it can actually hold it pretty well, but if it gets hit on an angle, uh, it doesn't even have to be that hard. It just doesn't have the strength in that direction. So when we were designing this, that's what we noticed when we did the analysis on the alpha rail. So this was one of the biggest points of concern for us as we were designing the Omega Rail Brace system. So we just want to sum everything up. Um, Omega Rail Brace system is continuous, quasi-homogeneous, and it doubles the torsional rigidity. And it's all thanks to getting rid of that mounting block. Um, the Omega Rail Brace system is, has a patent pending on its design and function, and that is what makes it so much different than what's already out there because we get rid of that. The scissor arm bolts directly to it because it's milled on an angle so there's flat bases for it. And it keeps everything in one package. Um, it doesn't have any significant material cut out. There's no, it's obviously holes for the rivets and the through bolt. That through bolt squeezes everything together, keeps it all into the center and that helps increase its, its torsional rigidity. And the, the conventional rail braces just don't do that. Conventional rail braces, twist. This is 3 16th by 3 60, 61 aluminum. Uh, it's about 26 inches long. And it deflects with your hands. that one doesn't. And that's just due to the fact that there's more material and it's geometry and unique design. Um, the Omega rail brace system is heavier than conventional rail braces, but there's no way to increase torsional rigidity without material. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Get a hold of us through Facebook, Instagram, or through the website. Right now, we're running some screaming deals on preseason. So 
we have we obviously have our EMS running boards for the M series, Go Climb, and the Ascender. So we brought back the M series and we brought back the Pro Climb. And we obviously have the Omega Rail Ray system. Um, the best deal right now is the combo kit, and that's the Ascender running boards and the Omega Rail Ray system. Any length and color combo for five twenty-five right now. It's a screaming deal. So head to the site and check that out. We've also got shirts, hats, and hoodies and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.